the world? Yes, of course. There are seven continents in the world. Which are they? They are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, Australia and Antarctica. How many continents students? There are seven continents. Okay. Students, in a geography lesson, we have already finished the first lesson. Which chapter it is? Yes, the North America land of friars. Isn't it? We have learned the extent, location, physical settings and physical features of the North America. Is it? Yes. So students, today we are going to learn about the new lesson that is South America. With South America, the land of Andes. What is the Andes? Do you know? Look at the picture students. The Andes. Andes means mountain ranges. Okay? So, in this lesson, we will learn about the extent, location, physical settings and physical features of South America. Okay? Let's get started. You know students, the South America is the fourth largest continent in the world. Which is the fourth largest continent in the world students? South America is the fourth largest continent. Okay? Where is the South America? In the world map. Can you find it? Yes. Here it is. Okay? The South America. Which is the first largest continent? Do you know? Yes. The first largest continent is Asia. Can you find Asia on the map? Yes. Asia is here. Okay? And students, the native of South American continent are called as the Red Indians. Why do you know? Because as I told you, the Europeans, they have came, they were discovering the new sea route to India because of trade purpose. For the trade purpose, the Europeans, they were discovering the new sea route to India. So, one of the sailors called Christopher Columbus, he found the new continent that is South America. Okay, he found the new continent in 1498 CE. In 1498 CE, he found the new continent that is South America. But he thought that it was India and he called the brown colored native people the Red Indians. Okay, so that the native of South America. American continent were called the Red Indians. Got it? Yes. And also student, what is the speciality of South America? Do you know? The speciality of South America. The South America is superlatives by the two things. They are the first one is Andes Andes. The first one is Andes. Andes means what? The mountain ranges. Look, see the video of Andes mountain students. How it's beautiful Andes mountain ranges. You can see in the video. So, the Andes mountains are situated, is, are located in the South America. Okay? That is the first thing. And the second thing is Amazon. Have you seen Amazon? Amazon forest. Okay. It's beautiful forest located in South America. The Amazon forest is called the lungs of the earth. Why? Do you know? The Amazon forest is called the lungs of the earth. See the video of 
Amazon forest. Because why? Why? Because the forty percent of the oxygen is produced by the Amazon forest. So that the Amazon forest is called the lungs of the earth. Okay, and also students, the five billion varieties of trees and plants are found in the Amazon forest, and even varieties of animals also found in the Amazon forest, as well as the famous river, Amazon River. See the video of Amazon River, how beautiful it is. The Amazon River also flows in the Amazon forest. It is the largest river in the world. It is the largest river in the world. Got it? These are the speciality of South America. Okay? And even the South America is called hollow land. And the land of grasslands. Do you know why? Because the population of South America is mainly concentrated in the coastal area. It means most of the people are living in the coastal area. But in the central part of the continent, central part of the continent, very less people are living. So that the South America is called the hollow land. Okay. Now let's learn the location of the South America. Okay. To know the location of the South America, first of all, we must have knowledge about latitudes and longitudes. Do you know what is latitudes, students? Latitude means, see the picture of latitude, students. Latitude means Horizontal lines which runs from the east to west. Okay, which runs from the east to west. There are five important latitudes. Do you know which are they? They are equator, tropic of Cap Cancer, tropic of Capricorn, Arctical Circle, Antarctic Circle. Okay, which are the students? Equator, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle. Okay, and what is longitude? Longitude means the vertical lines. See the picture students. Longitude means the vertical lines which runs from north to south. Okay, and the important Longitude is the prime meridian or Greenwich meridian. Okay. And also students, completely our earth is divided into two parts. See the picture. Completely our earth is divided into two parts with the equator. Okay. The upper part of the earth is called Northern Hemisphere, lower part of the or below the part of the earth is called Southern Hemisphere. Got it? So, the South America is located in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay? The South America is located in the Southern Hemisphere, hemisphere but the small portion of the continent is located in the Northern Hemisphere. You can see in the picture. Okay. And also students, the important latitudes passes through this continent. Can you say which are they? Yes. Equator and Tropical Capricorn. The two important latitudes are passes through this continent. They are Equator and Tropical Capricorn. Okay, and also the latitudinal and longitudinal extent is 12 degree north to 56 degree south latitudes and 35 degree west to 81 degree west 
latitude. Okay, you can see in the picture, students, latitude, the latitudinal and latitudinal extent is 12 degree north to 56 degree south latitude and 35 degree west to 81 degree west latitude. And see the map of South America. So, the South America is similar to the triangle shape, isn't it? Yes, it is similar to the triangle shape and in the north side we can see the broader and in the south side we can see the tapers. Okay, this is the location of the South America. So students, today we have learned about the introduction of South America and location and extent of the South America. So in the next class, we will learn about the physical settings and physical features of the South America. So I hope you all have understood the lesson. Thank you all.